as this industry explodes, as you're saying, and it moves beyond carrier talking to carrier and uh, uh, goes into content providing, uh, what what applications are you seeing that you're excited about? What are what are some different uses of the technology that are enabling um, people to touch different things than they have before, whether that's content or another person or? I think there's so many exciting applications that seem to be appearing by the day, and uh, some of them strange and esoteric, and some of them very uh, normal. Um, I think that one of the most exciting applications we see right now is barcoding, or being able to send barcode information to a handset, which can be used for such a diverse array of things, such as um, checking in for flights without having paper boarding passes and using your mobile phone as a boarding pass. Um, also to um, wire funds or transfer funds uh, across, the, across the globe. So using barcoding and effective uh, multimedia messaging type applications on a handset um, really opens up a whole uh, array of additional services that can be delivered. For each one of those applications, does there have to be a standard built to it? I know in barcoding there's a couple different uh, technologies that can be used, and, and where is the industry in that? Is that something Telcordia follows? Oh, we very <laughs> tightly follow the standards or lack thereof. I think that you know there's a huge array of divergence amongst device capabilities, and so different devices have used different formats, different codecs, and different ways of displaying information. So you really have to have an under and it's not going to change the fact that there's these, cha these, these variations between devices. So what you need is you need databases and directories within the network that help you understand what type of device it is, what capabilities that device is, so you can format your message or your communications effectively to meet the requirements of that device. And, and you're saying you have a database of every telephone number in the world? Correct. We have built a database of every phone number in the world, and we can tell you what service providers are associated with that phone number so that you can correctly send an SMS, an MMS, or some other type of content um, to that user. Uh, what are the what are the upcoming challenges? Um, uh, again, I think that uh, in theory the market is coming together, but in reality, I'm not sure that you know you still hear about revenue uh, lost and and transactions not going through. And again, with the third party content providers, there's still lawsuits about I didn't authorize this, and and right. the the theory is very nice, but the the reality seems a little bit messier. Yeah, I, I think that the constant uh, you know, thing the industry is trying to balance is trying to o open up as many services as possible, but also maintaining the security and privacy of individuals and the preferences of individuals. An you know, example of that is location-based services. Wouldn't it be great to say that you're, you know, in this, you're in New Jersey today and, and I know of, of uh, there's four or five coffee rest or, or Starbucks nearby that I want to send mm -hmm. you a coupon for, but you may not want that information to be available. So. You know, how you release information, how you keep it private, but also enable these services is a challenge the industry definitely faces, as well as maintaining security of, of this information. 